exactly as I suspected. Yeah. So we've got a disc extrusion in the middle of the back. Okay. And we can see here where the disc is coming out, there. Mm. With a pile of crud here pushing the cord over to this side. In some exceptional circumstances, when the disc really comes out and hits it like a punch to the head, mm. we can get what's called myelomalacia, where the spinal cord deteriorates anyway, regardless of what we do. Okay. And then the patient just goes downhill and becomes paralyzed completely and can't even feel the back legs. That's a, a hopeless prognosis. Okay. Surgery offers Olive the best chance of being able to walk again. I will get the stuff out. What I can't control is what happens to the spinal cord after that. He's said about the risks, I get that. I'm hoping that she's not that minute percentage, but it could happen, and I have to be ready for that. Laura has decided to leave Olive to have her operation tonight. Here you go. Go on. Go on. Definitely not working either back leg yet. Olive is making slow progress since she had spinal surgery 10 days ago. She's just about able to pull herself up on the legs now. But the big thing is her bladder, and uh, she hasn't really been wanting to pee. And I think part of that is behavioral. She doesn't like the wind and the rain. Do you, missus? No, you don't like the wind and the rain. You just like to be cuddled inside. Yeah. Noel thinks Olive will recover faster with Laura at home. I'm here to have a crash course in physio. Um, I don't know whether a urine extraction comes into it, but I'm up for it, and I've bought my gloves. And I'm just here to get my girl. Here we go. Who's here? Who's oh, here? my Thank goodness. You, hang on, hang on. Mrs. Don't whoa, stress whoa, yourself whoa, out. Whoa, Let's whoa, just whoa. not... There we go. Oh, there oh. we go. Oh, I love you too, and I miss She's you back. so much. If you just uh, pop her on here, the whole purpose of the physio is yeah. to get her feet to talk to her brain. Okay. It's just pressing the toes to spread them like so. It's all about stimulating the feet. Yeah. And with her bladder, I think she'll pee anyway once she gets home. Because she's raring to go. Good girl, Olive. <laughs> At school in Kent, Laura has a partner back. So in the practice, obviously, she was looked after beautifully, but it wasn't home. She hadn't actually um, urinated on her own or um, had a bowel movement on her own, and we weren't sure if that everything was working properly. Getting home really helped her mental state, and it really helped in her physical recovery as well. Brought her home, and the next morning we went out, and within 10 minutes she'd done her first wee, and shortly after that, a poo. So that was fantastic. Bearing in mind, we thought she wasn't going to be able to walk again. And now, Olive is ready to return to work. Lovely. Come on in, darling. All the children, everybody was just so pleased to see her. I mean, they were always lovely children, but they've been very understanding of uh, what she's gone through. They really appreciate her, and their bonds got even better. We had to be more gentle with Olive because her back's obviously still a bit fragile, but every day she's getting a bit better. Her like lively self is coming out again. Olive has done so much better than I ever thought she would do. Go! I always cherished moments with her, but they're even better now because I've been given a second chance. I've got my dog back with bells and whistles on. 